what do you do when you know you need to put yourself out there and network and meet people, but you're an introvert and that sounds like a terrible idea and just not something that sounds any fun. Welcome back to the Idea Supply Chain, where we take a look at where ideas come from and what makes ideas valuable. Recently, I saw a question on Twitter asking about putting yourself out there and trying to network with people, connect with them, and just feeling really awkward about that whole reaching out phase. And quite honestly, this hit a nerve for me because I was at a conference a few weeks ago and I went there with this whole idea that like, I'm going to network, I'm going to meet some people, I need to get out there. I've been doing it much better online, but in person, still not great. So I'm going to do that. And then I get to the conference and they've got these events and I go down and I wander around. Can't quite figure out what conversations to get into. Don't know a ton of people there, really. Like, I know a couple, but not really seeing them. And eventually I give up and go back to my room and say, well, maybe next time. But after this conference, I reflected a lot because, again, I wanted to get better at networking and figure out how to meet people. Um, and that obviously didn't work too well. Still managed to get COVID, though, even though I didn't really get that close to people or talk to them much. But, you know, hey, why not? Anyway, um, so when I saw this person ask this on Twitter, I was like, well, I actually came up with a solution for, for my version of this. And so when I saw that I wasn't doing a very good job reaching out to people, I said, okay, well, I suck at reaching out to people. What if I do something that makes it more likely that people reach out to me? Right? I mean, it seems simple, but not something that most people think of. And so for one of the next conferences I was looking at, instead of just going as an attendee, I submitted a talk. Maybe it gets accepted, maybe it doesn't. But my hope is that it does get accepted and then I give a talk and then people will want to talk to me because I gave a talk. I talk about what I'm interested in. I showcase that. And then people will have that as a way to come up and approach me. So the people who are good at approaching other people randomly, AKA not me, um, will then know that I'm interested in these ideas. I'm outgoing enough to at least get up and talk about them. And so, they'll want to come talk to me about them. And then all of a sudden, I don't have to do the thing I'm not good at. And I think this is actually a very applicable skill. You can do this in so many different areas. So if something is blocking you by just like being the part that you're not good at, see how you can outsource that to other people and that other people who are good at that part of it, take that part of it and have you be the other part or a different part. And so in this conversation where one person has to start it and you know, that's not you, like you're not good at that, have the other person start it. Just give them a reason to start it. And if you can do that, I mean, honestly, just by being interesting, people will want to talk to you. I found that on Twitter. Like, I tweet out some weird shit, some weird ideas that I'm thinking about, but people do get attracted to that. A lot of people ignore me. Some people probably think I'm insane, and that's totally fine. But the people who are interested in those type of things are the people who are excited to talk to me about those things. And in case you didn't notice by the fact that I started a YouTube channel, that's basically just me talking about all the stuff that I like to talk about. I'm really fascinated by all of these topics and I could talk for hours and hours and hours and hours. And in fact, I do. It's become a running joke in several circles. Uh, I was in a writer's group the other day and we broke out into small groups. And when we came back, someone put in the chat that after speaking to me, they'd really like to speak to me more and more. Um, and one of the other people who I had gotten to know spoke up and was or, you know, like chimed in and was like, oh, he went on one of his rants, didn't he? Um, because it's really fascinating. And I've spent a lot of time thinking about this and studying these ideas and figuring out how all these different pieces work together. And so I love talking about them and I will do that extensively, but I'm really bad at like going over to like individuals and chiming in. It's it's this bizarre thing, right? So I don't want to do that. And I'll just flip it. I'll make it easier for the people who find that easy 
to do that and work with me. And ultimately, that's everything that I'm about. It's all about working together in a way that is effective for everybody involved. That's the idea of quantum economics. It's all about people working together to create the maximum value for all the people involved. Nothing about money. It's all about the people. And when you start thinking about that, you start realizing everybody's got different strengths and weaknesses, and we can work together to make life easier for everybody. Anyway, just thought that would be helpful. Somehow I thought there might be some introverts on a tech channel that might be watching. I don't know. Probably shot in the dark. But just in case you're out there, this video is for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.